I've been in this career field for over half of my life. Putting my life in danger for somebody else. It's, it's what I do, it's what I feel, it's what I know. And I don't need to justify it to anyone. My name is Jonathan Tinsley. I work for West Pierce Fire and Rescue in Washington State as a firefighter, a rescue swimmer, and a marine pilot. So I operate Fireboat Endeavor on the Puget Sound. I have a father and two uncles that are career firefighters. So I grew up around the culture ever since I was a little kid. As long as I can remember, my dad was coming home telling stories about the fire service. And, you know, I fell in love with it at a really young age. When we start at 8 a.m. in the morning, we're, we're ready to respond. It could be medical, could be a brush fire, motor vehicle accident. We all want to make sure we go home the next day, but we also want to make sure that we can help who's calling 911 and fix the situation. Our, our motto is respond efficiently, execute flawlessly, and be nice. Um, every day we try to live up to that. And it's not always easy to be nice. Um, and it's a constant challenge to execute flawlessly. You know, you always want to execute flawlessly. Because when we execute flawlessly, we save lives and we all go home at the end of the day. I have received some awards as a firefighter. I have earned three Medals of Valor for actions on and off duty. A Medal of Valor is a medal that you receive when a firefighter has significantly risked their life uh, for somebody else. 911, what's the address of your emergency? I need uh, paramedics and that. I've got a kid in a boat, a uh, gentleman fell in the lake. I don't know okay. what's going on. Sir, I need you to stay on the line with me, okay? I was a third man on the engine company and also a rescue swimmer. We didn't have all of our thermal protection, and this is the middle of the night, super cold lake, just coming out of the winter months. You know, we kind of all get there at the same time and converge. My brother, who's actually on engine 21 that night as well, and he was also a rescue swimmer, and uh, we just immediately jumped into the water and we started free diving together. As Soon as I come up, I see my brother, you know, he's struggling. He says, I got the guy. So I immediately grabbed uh, both of them and we started swimming in. So we got him out of the water where we had crews ready to perform CPR. They immediately got him packaged up, up to our medic unit, who was able to then rapidly transport him to the appropriate facility. It's not even a second thought for me. You know, it's just what has to be done. I need to get in there and I need to help them because they're in big trouble, even if it has to do with risking, you know, your life. I feel like I've been in some pretty close situations. Um, you always just try to operate as safe as you can, but still save lives at the same time. I knew going into this career field that there would be a lot of tough calls that I'd be going on. When you get back from tough calls, you just went on it with your brothers and sisters in the fire service, you know. And we come back and we can talk about it, we can let our emotions out, and we can do it as a team. And I, I know I'm, I'm gonna have a lot more tough calls in the future, and uh, just knowing that I'm serving with, with others that, that go through the same stuff, you know. That's what we do. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to help others. And I love people and I want, I want there to be good. And, and I know that to be the same for all first responders. We signed up because we want to help people and we, we value life.